welcome students let us see a very important question from the topic time and work this question has been asked in staff selection commission examination in the year of 2003 question is very interesting here question is a can do a certain work in the same time in which b and c together can do it if a and b together could do it in 10 days a and b together could do it in 10 days and c alone in 50 days then how much time is required so that b alone could do it so let us see the solution here we'll start with this statement a and b together could do it in 10 days so a plus b can do this work in 10 days so first of all we'll find the amount of work done by a plus b in one day therefore amount of work done by a plus b in one day this is one one day will be how much reciprocal of 10 days this is the amount of work 1 by 10 okay so this is the amount of work done by a plus b in one day and c alone can do this work in 50 days so how much work can be done by c in one day on the same pattern we can write also amount of work done by c in one day is 1 by 50 why because c can do this job in 50 days so in one day work 1 by 50 and adding these two relations therefore amount of work done by a plus b plus c in one day will be how much we will add these two numbers 1 by 10 plus 1 by 50 let us simplify it lcm will be 50 and here 10 5 ja 50 so 5 plus 1 this is equal to 6 by 50 and this is equal to 3 by 25 so amount of work done by a plus b plus c in one day is 3 by 25 now uh, we will use this first statement a can do a certain work in the same time in which b and c together can do it so the amount of work done by b plus c will be equal to amount of work done by a because a takes the same time for doing this work which b plus c take okay so therefore in place of b plus c we can write a means this is a and this is a why a because b plus c take the same amount of time that a requires so this is a and this is a so two times of is work done in one day 3 by 25 dividing by 2 therefore amount of this is two times now we are dividing by 2 amount of work done by a in one day is equal to 3 by 2 into 25 is equal to 3 by 50 okay this is amount of work done by a and here we are having amount of work done by a plus b so when we subtract these two quantities 
we will get amount of work done by B. This is A plus B and this is A. When we will subtract, A will be cancelled out, we will get B, amount of work done by B. So, therefore, again, amount of amount of work done by B in one day will be how much? This will be, I am explaining it, amount of work done by A plus B minus amount of work done by A in one day. So, amount of work done by A plus B is 1 by 10 and amount of work done by A is amount of work done by A is 3 by 50. So, 1 by 10 minus 3 by 50. So, this will be how much? 2 by 50. Taking LCM will be 50. So, 10 5 ja 50, 5 minus 3 that is 2 by 50. This is equal to 1 by 25. So, this is the amount of work done by A, uh, done by B. Amount of work done by B in one day, 1 by 25. So, number of days required by B to complete this work, reciprocal of this much means 25 days. That will be answer. So, therefore, time required by B alone to complete the job or complete the work 1 upon 1 by 25 is equal to 25 days. So, this is the answer 25 days. Okay, little bit tricky. So, after doing some practice you will have a good command over this topic and topic is very important in almost all competitive exams at least one two or three questions may be asked from this topic time and work so please remain in touch with my videos and hope you have subscribed my channel if not done yet please subscribe right now and share these videos with your friends also so that they could also get benefit of it and if you have any difficulty, any confusion, any problem or even you want to give any suggestion, please write in the comment box. And uh, if you are enjoying these videos, if you are understanding, if you are liking, then I am expecting your likes. So, thank you very much.